And now, you may be curious about this device on top of this compartment. That's what we call the infrared sensor. On this device, you have the sensor to read all the vital signs, like the heartbeats, the BPMs, and the breathing, breathing beats, like this. The breathing rhythms are going to be displayed, and you can view it on the television, which we have the power tool to accept over 60 devices in one hospital. So on the big screen, you can read all the things, all the patients, real-time sense on one, this one screen. And also you have a real-time supervision camera. You can see how they're behaving and whether they're in danger. And you can just put in force if needed. And the other one, like a round egg-shaped one inside, is a radar. Ooh. Now when we look at that screen, you can see that the breathing rhythm is like 26 per minute, and heartbeat is like 106 per minute, okay? The red spot and the blue spot is displaying the both the breathing rhythms and the BPMs. So this one is also a touch this device. When we get closer, you can see that uh, which looks like a carbon monoxide sensor inside. It's actually the radar. It's blinking with a green light, showing you it's working properly. Okay, cat kit. The vital figure of the cat kit of this cute cat is di displayed on the television real timely. So once I take him out, like five seconds later, it's going to be back to zero because there's no living animals inside. Okay, we can just go back to screen later. And now when we move around, you can see all the portals. That's a programmed power supply to the external humidifier and external nebulizers. Okay, so that's going to be controlled and managed by the computer inside, by the chips inside. And that's going to be integrated into the whole control system, into the whole machine. And that's what we call uninterrupted power supply, meaning the power does not go through the computer inside, it's going to be managed separately. If you have the VETSAN monitors, you have other like infusion pumps or something like that, you can power in and that's not going to be affected by the whole machinery. And that's the portal for the transfusion lines to go into the compartment without leaking the precious oxygen. And when we get into more details, you can see we have this operation portals. When we have the animals inside, you can stretch and put your arms inside to do all the actual operations without leaking, without have the, having the risk of the animal escaping from you. And also, if you want to change the ventilation speeds, you can just turn the panel and it regulates the opening space on the portals. And the door is fully made from aluminum extruded materials realizing very perfect seating for the oxygen inside. No leaking and all the rubber strips is playing a very important role for seating oxygen inside all day long. Now when we go back to the screen you can see all the heartbeats and the breathing rhythms is dropping down to zero. Telling you once the animal is removed is really nothing, right? Ah, oh, must be me, right? Okay, and when we look more closely into all the internal components, we have these two heaters placed on both corners of the internal compartment. Behind that, you have two PTC heaters and the ventilation fans, infrared, infrared light, uh, negative ion generators, uh, illuminating lights, and also for the oxygen inlet and oxygen sensors, and also humidity and the temperature sensors. UV light. All the things are made in the modular way, easy to remove and easy to replace. So it's going to reduce your fatigue and the labor cost in the future for the potential repair and the replacement, also for the upgrading purpose.